You want me to put that on my todger? The Simeon Line. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. No, this isn't a new cruise line for monkeys, and I wonder just how many of the dunder-headed sugars will see the term Simeon in relation to Harry's wife and think that it's something racist. Probably not too many, because they probably don't understand what Simeon means, because they're all pretty stupid. But it's not my word that I've used. Oh, no. It's something else that has decided to utilise the word Simeon in relation to Harry's wife. As you know, Harry's wife spends a particular amount of money ensuring that PR puff pieces are pumped out about her. This is done because she wants to ensure that she is repeatedly in the news. Being in the news potentially affords her a greater ability to control people, draw fuel from them, potentially access character traits and residual benefits, all of those four things being the prime aims that the narcissist seeks when interacting with other people. They are the holy grails, if you will, of the narcissistic existence. Harry's wife manages a facade. That's a residual benefit. The facade is that she is a fashion icon, kind, fun, interesting, a good mother. And part of the PR Puff pieces role is to support that facade to make it seem that she is a kind, empathic, fun, caring mother. Owing to the fact that she is in the downward spiral and more and more people see through what she is and recognise that she is a narcissist or at the very least not a very nice person, these amount to repeated threats to her control and her narcissism must respond to them. Her narcissism responds by causing her to act in a particular way to seek to nullify those threats to control. And one way of doing is doing so is to issue these PR puff pieces. You know that there is a stable of supine publications that are there with their heads buried up the derria of Harry's wife because... They're being paid to do it. This includes Tatler, Town and Country, Cosmopolitan, Marie Care, Claire, People.com, and of course, Hello. And it's Hello that rides in once again, attempting to keep Harry's wife in the news and in a way which demonstrates her level of delusion and self-absorption. Somebody called Ainhoa Barcelona, not seen that name before, she must be a recent addition to the Hello Dungeon, where poor individuals are snatched from the streets of London and subjected to a diktat from a rubber-faced famous person wearing uh, a mask, telling them to write 750 or 1,000 words in order to make Harry's wife look good. And this time, the title of the article is The Telling Sign That Harry's Wife Is a High Achiever (laughs) and Could Do Great Things. (laughs) Yeah, right. The article states, It's no secret that the Duchess of Sussex is a force to be reckoned with. Well, she is a legend in her own lunchtime, I suppose. The former suit star, bringing up the past, turned philanthropist, activist and champion of female empowerment, yeah, in her own mind, started making waves in her pre-teen years when she famously overturned a sexist soap advert. Oh, how many times will she bring this up, bringing up the past? Among other achievements, Harry's wife, a Northwestern University graduate, has written a children's book, yep, which is shit, starred in a Netflix docuseries, which was, loud, la- which was largely derided, co-established a non-profit organisation with husband Prince Harry, which is largely seen as some kind of tax dodge, and lent her voice to the UN Women Conference. Thus, the first two paragraphs don't tell us anything new and are just regurgitating what has gone on in relation to her in the past. And, of course, 
It's all about, look at me, look at me, look at what I have achieved. And it sounds like there's no stopping the Duchess when it comes to her ambitions. How so? Could it be that somebody who recognises real talent is able to tell us more about what she's achieved and is likely to achieve? Maybe somebody who has achieved a huge amount in their, their own lives. Somebody who perhaps has set up a company and has made billions and employed thousands of people, or has perhaps run a country and has steered it through difficult times. People with real ability, real skill, real insight. Perhaps it's them that has looked at Harry's wife and thought, do you know what? She gets a bad press, but actually she's a high achiever and she's going to go on to achieve more. There's no stopping her. Who will we hear from? Well, as per hello, it's Palm Reader. Oh, so not a titan of industry or a former world leader. No, not some tech entrepreneur or polymath. It's a palm reader called Gary Markwick, and he shared that Harry's wife has a fairly uncommon feature on both of her hands. Oh yes, what's that? An upside-down cross or a pentacle? Oh no, it's something called a simian line. This is when the head and the heart line on your palm merge into a single line. Ah. So, presumably this means that she's going to be really successful because she has this simian line. After all, it's nothing to do with being intelligent or being a hard worker or having innate talents or having emotional intelligence. It's all down to a line on your hand. Got it. According to Hello and Mr. Markwick, Harry's wife, Hillary Clinton, Robert De Niro, Tony Blair, these are all examples of people who have the simian line. Gary told hello. Well, say what you will about Hillary Clinton. She has at least had a sustained career as a lawyer and a politician, that she has made a lot of money. You don't have to like her, but she actually is intelligent and has some ability. Robert De Niro, he can be a miserable sod, but he's a damn good actor. Tony Blair, he may well have lied about the weapons of mass destruction, but he got to the top in politics and managed to oust the Tories after they had been in power some 18 years with a landslide victory in 1997 through the creation of New Labour. It is hilarious for Harry's wife to be mentioned in the same sentence as those three. But of course, this is the nonsense that Harry's wife has to pump out for the purpose of trying to make herself seem important, and that she truly believes that she is on a par with those individuals. The palm reader continues by explaining, these are people who can be quite highly sensitive. They're very focused. They're head on. They're going to get what they want normally. Well, I'll tell you what they do have in common. Narcissism. But sometimes they have tunnel vision in what they're trying to achieve and they're not always looking around to see who's around or what's happening. Some people just have a touch of that line. But Harry's wife has a simian line on each hand, Gary added. The left hand is our emotions. The right hand is what we make of our life, what we achieve. And Harry's wife has it on both hands. So it's a double whammy. She could do great things. Most people have three main lines on their palm, Gary explained the heart, the head, and the life, with the latter being the most important. These lines are formed in the womb, before we're even born, he said. These lines actually change as frequently as every two to three months. Nothing's permanent, nothing static. What we think, say, and do, we're manifesting and creating our lines. And it's not just our lines that tell us about ourselves and our destiny. The shape and features of our hands do as well. Well, what does it mean, Gary, when you've got oversized man hands? Does that just mean that you're able to cup some bollocks very easily? Perhaps that's what it tells us. Someone who has very long palms and very long fingers, ah, he's going to enlighten us, they can be quite delicate and very sensitive. Right, said Gary. Someone who has short, stubby fingers, what we call elementary hands, 
These are the kind of people who want to get married, have their meal in front of them. If they went to an auction to buy an antique, they would value it on how much it's worth, not on its beauty. If you have a wasted thumb, so a thumb that looks like a waist, well, Harry's wife doesn't have a waist at all, does she? That could be someone who's very diplomatic. Well, that's not going to be Harry's wife. Maybe indecisive. Whereas someone with a very solid thumb, they're more practical. They say it like it is. Fancy having your palm read by Gary? Jim Boggs Victoria has launched its special lifeline classes. Yada, yada, yada. And there's just an advertisement, which we don't have to deal with. But here we are. Harry's wife, once again, being talked about because of a Simeon line suggesting that she's a high achiever and tries to lump her with other high achievers. Another vacuous PR puff piece. But, as usual, when it comes to scraping the bottom of the barrel, Harry's wife always proves that she can go even lower. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.